autumn is almost here so i think it's time for a video about seven mistakes that you can do while you're photographing landscapes in autumn situations now these are not general mistakes that you can do in any season these mistakes are particularly related to autumn so if you want to find out if you do one of these mistakes stick around by the end of this video Mistake number one, everybody knows that this green is going to turn yellow, orange and eventually dark brown, but not everybody knows that when you have powerful light during sunrise or sunset or sometimes even during the day, through these yellow, orange and dark brown leaves, the red channel tends to overexpose. So you have to be extra careful with this. Uh, the solution is to have your histogram uh, displayed as color channels and not the gray uh, version because the gray is an average the color channels will show you exactly what is happening and if you have an overexposed red channel you can correct it very easily mistake number two you're not where you're supposed to be at the right time. And this happens usually because you don't understand how the, um, how the local weather can affect uh, the way the leaves are changing their colors. For example, if the leaves are turning yellow, orange, and there is some snow falling, or there is um, a, a, a cold air in the atmosphere, then the leaves are going, are going to turn darkish red uh, or brown and will fall very quickly. Uh, sometimes you think that you have two weeks or, th or uh, three weeks or, or, of autumn or, or, um, or worse, you think, you're thinking that the entire month of October is an autumn month. Yes, but to benefit from the full colors of autumn, you need to understand that there is a window of, let's say, one week something like this it depends a lot on the, on the area where you're living and that's why you have to inspect the local landscape and it's easier to photograph or to take autumn landscape photos near you because you can visit the place often and you kind of feel when uh, the leaves are going to change their color Tip number three is hiking higher than necessary. Hardwood forests like birch trees or peach trees, oak trees, uh, all these forests you can find them between 600 meters and 1300 meters altitude. If you go above that, you're not going to have those beautiful autumn colors. You may have dramatic conditions that are similar to spring when you go high up in the mountains but again you're going to miss those beautiful uh, colors that you want to see during uh, autumn and you want to photograph as a landscape photographer mistake number four is concentrating only on hardwood forests like as i said birch trees oak trees uh, beech trees and you don't realize that there's also large trees and if you don't know what a large tr tree is it's basically a pine tree that uh, has its needles colored to uh, orange and you can find this between 650 meters and up to 1200 meters so be aware of that usually they um, they turn their color uh, after the, the hardwood forest so when you have full color in, in the hardwood uh, forest then you can maybe think about large trees i in my area i have them on uh, chahlo mountain and i can find them um, at altitudes of 1200 meters it's easy to capture them to photograph them and they look really spectacular because you maybe basically you're not used to see a pine tree uh, of that color
you don't have the proper gear for cold and wet weather and it's a known fact that during autumn the weather gets really cold and you can uh, have a lot of uh, lots of rain and humidity in the air and nobody tends to think about photography when he is cold or uh, he is wet so be prepared have um, weatherproof clothings and warm clothings gloves hats and this way you'll be able to enjoy your uh, landscape photography during autumn mistake number six is not doing the proper research when you go and photograph far away from your local place so it doesn't matter if you have autumn in your area it's going to be autumn over there where you go because on larger surfaces autumn is very different and can arrive at a very different uh, moment so for example i'm living in a mountain area if i go towards the plains then i'm going to maybe maybe the autumn it's not there yet or maybe it's over you just have to make the research maybe ask some questions uh, to the photographers that live in those areas Thing number seven is that when you're trying to photograph trees this is usually a beginner mistake that I see during my workshops people are trying to frame the entire tree and in almost in almost all cases this is not necessary you should pick an interesting area or part of the tree and concentrate on that and you're using the trunk and the branches of the tree to create an interesting composition and to present an interesting uh, an interesting photo you don't have to include the entire tree to make people realize how uh, how beautiful or how big or how interesting a tree is well, these were seven mistakes that you may be doing in your autumn landscape photography now let me know in the comments below if you are doing one of these mistakes or if you have something else to add to this uh, until next time keep on photographing because it's the only way to get better <laughs>